Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, welcome to Radku Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and uh, Gemini Rising, weekly tarot reading April 15th to uh, April 21st, 2019 and uh, as I'm shuffling the tarot cards I want to remind you that uh, this reading is going to be general one for a uh, Gemini star sign and for that reason the reading itself is going to relate to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different Gemini. So uh, for that reason in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread uh, but <clears throat> should you want your personal situation instead to be uh, analyzed by me through tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it uh, in the future that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So that being said, going to the Gemini uh, general tarot spread for the week, the first card that we do have, it is the topic of the week and that is going to be the Knight of Wands, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation here, that is going to be the Eight of Swords, followed by the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation, that is going to be the Seven of Wands, and the last one, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, that is going to be the Queen of Wands. So once again, um, Ace of um, Knight, excuse me, of Wands, followed by the Eight of uh, Swords. Then what we do have, it is the Seven of Wands. And the last one that we do have, it is the final outcome of growth, Queen of Wands. So what gives a really an impression here, what makes up an impression is that we do have only active cards as with active element, elements. So this week is going to be or should be dappled by a activity from your behalf. Now, uh, as the Knight of Wands falls on the first place here, which is the uh, general topic of the week, I usually would have approached the card of, is, as if this is a person. But... Looking at the rest of the cards, I don't believe that this card manifests as a person, but it manifests as a part of your character. Being that this week you need to present yourself as a quite of an enterprising person who is willing to do things and to surprise people, to take risks, and as well to show oneself as a very reliable. In a sense of that, let me give you an example so I can make myself a little bit more clearer. Uh, let's say that uh, you are investing in a project, all right, or kind of like you are trying to push forward with a, a project. Project isn't really working out um, into your career, uh, as well as it should be and you show <clears throat> to your boss or to the environment in general that you are willing to do something uh, unorthodox so, uh, in order to push the project forward and that way uh, the, the whole point here is to show yourself that you are not ready to bail out to the, to bail off excuse me and to give up but rather you are willing to try something surprising something that it is um, out of the conventional way so at least you know that you have exhausted any kind of options available before you actually wave the white flag regarding either relationship or regarding either the project we which, by the way, is going to either open your doors or it's either will allow you to truly with, with a brilliant maneuvers to make the unnecessary advance forward. Like I said, either with your career or either with your relationship. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Ace of Wands. The formation is a uh, active supporters. Now, as you are going to burst out of energy throughout uh, this week and you will really gonna feel that uh how can i place it you have that power behind your back or rather like it's that uh you can you can overcome everything this energy is here out as well have that affinity to burn people out so you are going to feel that overflowing um flow of uh, 
of vital energy for a short period of time and after that you will feel a big fatigue so while you do have that surge extreme surge of a active and vital energies to push things through i can suggest you here to uh to fully capitalize on it additionally to that with the ace of wands as a supportive card to the knight of wands it does peaks that the uh, best resolution you can have either to your relationship or to your project at, at career resides outside of the current options available so it's a new addition it's a uh, new source of help or new source of resolution that you should try out maybe it's going to be scary at the start because you may think that you will not be able to fit it well uh, you know as a resolution but should you try it out you are going to see that you are quite remarkable while getting the hang of it the second card that we do have it is the eight of uh, of swords and that is the negative approach toward the situation. So the Eight of Swords is about one facing a wall and one we not being able to um, to push forward in the sense of that one is stuck in their situation without, um, not however, without one's contribution. So in the grand scheme of things, if I should not explain it that complex, uh, it means that there are other options available and one should not stick with only those which resides with, in one's plan, but one should try always to sprout and try to see outside of the box seeks, like I said, an orthodox way of solving things or uh, unconventional ways of, uh, of solving either one's uh, relationship, one's marriage, or one's project for that matter. So staying with your original plan, it doesn't look like that is gonna yield a lot here, but maybe you will have to readapt it. No, maybe, but for sure you will have to readapt it. It's gonna come naturally to you what you need to do. I'm not very good with these things, you know, when I do have a plan, even if it comes naturally to me that I have to readopt it, I don't do that and I suffer from it. Well, you will have the same kind of situation here, Gemini's, but this time around, you have to take advantage of that new either insight or realization or whatever, in whatever way that manifests for you and truly readapt your strategies and your plan to the new to the new way of how you figure out that you're going to do things around because that new way is going to manifest yourself as a very gaining for enterprise okay that promises uh it's not like new beginning, but the very least be resuscitating once a, a almost dead situation that could be reconciliation, for example, or it could be this uh, funding you needed in order to proceed with your project and so on and so forth. But these things are going to come with their own set of strings as well, their own set of obligations that you need to take on. And that will be some sort of a... Uh, unconventional way how you should uh, deal with the situation the accompanied card of the eight of swords this is going to be the strength card and the uh the formation here is active uh, active friends so the strength here does add a shade that that will be a a physical help that you are going to have to incorporate basically cooperate with someone or uh, the way i see it it's more like uh, involving connections into the matter in a sense of that uh, let's say that you are trying to revive your relationship i'm not saying that your relationship is in a bad place but maybe it became boring all right so uh you have to seek a, a mutual friend, a mutual connection, you know, to uh, create a some sort of an enterprise that you all can benefit from, all right, instead of trying to do it on your own, that is, because maybe your original plan is to surprise your girlfriend or your boyfriend on your own that's not going to work out very well here but if you do try to make a cumulative experience of many people and involve the relationship in it then the thing looks uh, looks like that the thing is going to work out very well additionally with these cards here 
they could also say that there is some sort of a uh, um, disruption in the communication itself, meaning that you think that you have explained yourself very well, yet you have left misunderstood. Therefore, try to be as much elaborative as possible when you're trying to make a point or when you are trying to push an opinion forward, either career-wise or either uh, relationship-wise. The third card here, which is the positive approach toward the situation, that is going to be the seven of um, the seven of wands so there are going to be as well some sort of temptations or a test as well so your your personality or your situation in general is going to be tested i either uh, inwardly meaning that you're going to be tempted by something or there will be an exterior peripheral things which are going to cause as well, temptation to stray from your original path, original path meaning original goal, not your original strategy, because you need to stray for your original strategy, which follows the same goal, all right? But this card points that there are going to be other temptations which will tempt you to leave your original goal uh, elsewhere and just stray toward those things. Well, as this card comes around, it seems that you will be, um, as a positive thing, that you are going to be able to take advantage of all of that. But there will be a certain timing for it. So the positive approach here is to scope right the timing to take advantage of the of the temptation and in the same time to resort um your current situation which doesn't have to be something bad okay maybe you're trying to find a way how to make your uh, lucrative career even more lucrative and unable to do so until this very moment now you're gonna have the opportunity you know to take certain risks to be more bolder than usual take on this gaining for enterprise and improve the lucrivity into your career what these cards are pointing is that a current at uh, the current state you are facing a certain threshold all right certain uh, limits that you have placed in front of yourself and now it's time for you to expand those limits limits even further uh saying that this could be as well a a time where you will have to think of uh, engagement rather than being sitting on just one relationship all right or maybe it is time for you to changing your job or asking for a promotion and so on and so forth the whole thing of this reading gemini is that you need to expand your limits prow your business you know improve your relationship and so on and so forth and the way you're doing so it is by trying new brilliant maneuvers new unorthodox ways risky ways to improve that state the accompanied card here of the uh, seven of wands this is going to be the devil and so the um formation is active neutrals the devil card here points that you will have no regret or um, regret in a sense of uh, uh, there are going to be a lot of choices that you will need to make throughout this uh, throughout this week you know of how to approach this uh, this endeavor through um, using an orthodox way in order to, in order for you to do so and there won't be any regret you deciding how you should approach it you know these kind of situations where one decides to do one thing and on the next day they kind of regret doing it because maybe they could have done it in a better way and so on and so forth well you aren't gonna have such a regret guys because it does look like that uh more or less uh, every time uh, you will be convinced within yourself that you have did the right decision and most of the uh, for most of the cases for you Gemini's that will be uh, that will be the case that you all are going to do the right decision for the for the simple reason that with the devil card it is unlikely that there is a, a wrong decision to be taken as well but um the thing is that as well that you are going to uh, very well time that decision with the situation itself which will form uh, how can i say it um, a numerous options available in front of you and it is important to uh, how can i place it it's uh, it's important to um, try out every single one of it without making a big ultimate commitment and as soon as you find out which one works best for you this is where you invest fully in it 
So it's more like experimenting throughout this week, what is gonna work for you and through what is gonna work for you, how you can expand your limits and capabilities. Because at the end, for what it seems, your limits and capabilities or in general, the uh, the state of, of your enterprise is going to be improved here with the queen of wands which is a, a person now it does depend uh, where that person manifests itself it does depend what uh, what kind of a situation you're in you know that could be the one who truly likes you and wants to catch up your attention that is going to be a person who fights for your attention or is going to be a, a one who is going to give you the opportunity you need let's say you are jobless all right so this person sees that you are a, a versatile peop uh, person who can do many things, uh, many things at once, and it is not bailing out on a, a challenge. Therefore, that person gives you the opportunity to start earning money. That's for example, because as if a queen of wands manifests herself in that way, it means that she sees your strength and weaknesses, and she can make your strength being capitalized on certain, you know, um, positions at her business or. Um, for a certain project in her career and so on and so forth so you can end up with a, a very good cooperation at the end and also if that is a, about friendships and relationship this person once again seeing your um, uh, weaknesses and your strengths she is um, wanting to attract you the way that it suits her and it's gonna suit you as well it's very funny here when uh queen of wands manifest as a um uh, outcome of growth here but that is a person who is gonna be your leader without oppressing herself upon uh, upon you and is gonna point you somewhat in the right direction where you are gonna feel yourself fulfilled by expanding your limits and so it's a, it's a, a positive influence in your life uh, additionally to that we do have the queen uh, the uh, two of wands excuse me which forms with the queen a uh, active supporters here and definitely we're talking about expansion of one's skills knowledge and in general one uh, one achievement as well because the two of wands here points that this person is going to see that you have uh, good achievements but you still can improve and that person is going to give you the means through which you can actually improve your exciting skills knowledge or position for that matter now on a final note here i don't think that we're talking about relationships as a relationship potential all right i, I think that we're talking more about career stuff of things where uh, you are proving yourself quite capable either in front of your uh, supervisor bosses or someone else is going to spot you around uh, let's say a client to your current company and they approach you with a, a proposition to work for them instead and so on and so forth how you're going to take on that depends entirely on you although the cards are advising you to try that opportunity out so that being said Gemini this was your weekly uh, tarot reading for April 15th to april 21st 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and um, as a general reading this reading is going to resonate for different stuff and in a different way for every single different gemini but should you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me just like I did for this uh, general tarot reading and to tell you what is going to happen with it in the future that is a subject of a private reading and for such uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!